And, and those guys are wrong. I mean, you've proven it time and time again now, but there must have been a bit of extra pressure on you coming here with a new patch, oh, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh, and that's who we're actually casting, Cure versus Parting. I'm glad we get to uh, bring your Z Zerg expert knowledge yeah, into this yeah, one, right? you know? Yeah. Can I have a different point of view here? <laughs> <laughs> it's not always about the analysis. Sometimes it's just about the company, you know what oh, I'm yeah. saying? Guys, this is going to be the last best of five of the day, and obviously we hope it's going to be an awesome one. And we need you guys to make it an awesome one as well. This is Saturday night. So, guys, let's make some noise for these nerds, all right? In the left bottom side, we're looking at a Terran player who has performed incredibly well so far in this tournament. If you love him, make some noise for Cure. And spawning over in the top right side, he's been cheeky, he's been crazy, he's doing incredibly well. It is parting. Big match. It really is. Like, Parting, he's really came alive this tournament. I know yeah, he's been yeah. doing good for the last six months or so. And Cure as well. He's a guy that's like a blast from the past, but yeah. he's been looking incredibly sharp. I mean, even against you, you managed to knock him down to the loser bracket, but how did it feel playing against him? Ah, uh, He's really good. I think he's very close to Maru in TVZ, especially in practice. I think in tournaments he goes down a bit, but in practice I do think that he's really close to Maru, especially when it comes to the mech play. His mech play is actually sick. He expands really fast. Uh, it's really good. You guys had an incredibly long series. Do you think that could have an impact on his performance in this one? Oh, for sure. Yeah, he's been playing for a lot, a lot now. And it's kind of late, and this year's was yeah. exhausting. I don't see myself playing another one after that. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. no, I can get it as well, because a lot of you guys show up early as well, right? Yeah. But then suddenly you've got a couple of the series that go rather long, because you were rocking around early here today, and you're like, what is up? Like, I don't know what I should be doing, man. Like, there's hey. nobody to practice, and there's so <laughs> many hours to go through my series. So, like, how do you plan out a day when you say you're here at 1, but yeah. you know your official match? Let's say it's supposed to be at 3, but it actually ends up being at 5. What do you do then? Yeah, it's very hard because most of the guys that are in the tournament, you don't really want to practice with them. And if you find them, if you find the, the race you're looking for, it's most of the times they're on your side of the bracket anyway. So you can't really, can't really practice. And if you want a ladder, the ladder is on the old patch still, and you're mm -hmm. not going to find anyone because everyone is here. So I do want to make a public announcement, by the way. If the camera movement seems a little bit shaky, it's because Mapu is doing the observing again. <laughs> 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 Just kidding, mate. You are perfect. He did well on the couch as well, didn't he? He actually did a great job. In fact, I couldn't tell it wasn't Mapu observing, honestly. I thought you did a great job as well. I wasn't Kevin. complimenting myself. I was complimenting him. I couch. know, but I had to come back to you. Like, I thought I thought everything went so smooth. I couldn't tell if it was a cast. Right, you want commentating. my room number right now, Ben? Like, I'll see you in an hour. <laughs> I already know it from last night, mate. Like, <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ben. We've got the Reaper hopping into the main base. Obviously, it would be awesome to spot what kind of tech we're working with here if you are Cure. You know, whenever you get ready for a best of five, when parting is involved, I'm always like, it's going to be explosive. Like, oh, there yeah. is no best of five with parting ever that's standard. He'll have a standard game every once in a while, but he will not have three, four standard games yeah. in a row. No way. And, uh, like, the group stage, like, talking about that, the best of two situation, I think that really benefited parting, yep. just because it takes a while to get used to his craziness. But then coming into the bracket stage, he took down Showtime, and yep. he brought the crazy in every game, but, like, managed to pull it out 3-2. So he's obviously playing really well as well. He's getting the full wall of over here. I think that... Oh, oh he's on the full wall! Oh. I thought it was, but it is not a full wall of, and that means that these Hellions are going to be able to do quite a bit of damage. What are you doing with the probes, mate? They're kind of lined up. Oh, no. Uh, parting. Oh, oh my gosh. Can, 11 can, probes. Can we call this game? <laughs> no, we cannot, Reina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love how he canceled it. <laughs> he's like, yeah, I'm going to cancel my wall. Oh, Wait, no. <laughs> it didn't really do much. This means he's very tired. Oh. I mean, it could mean tires, and it could also, you know, when you play on a new setup and a Does new monitor and stuff, it can be very different. Now, if the observer is in the right place, though, guys, this is, I, I know it's bad, right? But it's not the end of the world if he doesn't take damage from the Banshees. Like, if the observer shows up in the right moment, like, four Hellions and Banshees will always deal some damage. This was really painful, don't get yeah. me wrong. Did way more damage than it should. But if he now is good against the Banshees, I think he's still in the game with the quick three Nexus. Yeah, I mean, you could be right. Like, Protoss can always uh, greed up with the Chrono Boost and stuff because there isn't really a super follow-up behind the Banshee Hellion. Oh. But this gets in. It hasn't been spotted. That's immediately a few pros falling. It's this is be... at least five, I think. Oh. Never mind. Oh, I... 
The second observer is out in time, but still, yeah, losing the five probes Feels is Feels good, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, solid <laughs> I call, mate, solid call. <laughs> he he just smiled at us yeah. so cheekily. He's like, I got that so right, boys. <laughs> <laughs> but he was like, you know what? When I get a little bit older, I could sit on a couch like this, make a couple of predictions and be right all the time. <laughs> By the way, Raynor, Xbox Kinect. <laughs> that could be a thing. <laughs> oh, this is a good catch oh, yeah. at first. I'm not, uh, not sure where the observer is, but... But still using the, uh, the clock uh, too fast is not that good for you. Uh, like, this was this was oh, decent oh. for parting. Oh, oh, that's cheeky. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, it's gonna die. Uh, oh, 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 oh. What uh, 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 found it. Welcome to the castle library. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you can't get all of them right, you know? Yeah. A uh, bit of F2 here with the two observers. It was like, oh, I need to get that. Oh, even uh, the third oh, one coming oh. over. He's like, I'm one of the boys, too. <laughs> Busted. <laughs> <laughs> is this one forge? Oh, Jesus. Yes, it is one forge for now. Actually, no, wait. Oh, never mind. But he just started the uh, armor a little bit later. Double That's double. a little bit greedy, by the way, after <laughs> losing. He's like, I lost 11 probes and then I lost a few more probes. You know what I'm going to do? Double, double forge. <laughs> <laughs> well, against triple CC, you might get away with it, but eventually that push is still going to be massive. That Terran bio army is going to be big. Cure's also gone for like double engineering bait, which is a little bit weird, right? Like, he's got the third CC up now, so. Despite dealing all that damage, he wasn't going to like lean on it. He's like, okay, I've dealt damage. Maybe you're going to attack me because you're parting, and I'll play safe and uh, defensive behind it. I mean, it's still quite bad for parting, obviously, being down in workers. There are three command centers or orbital commands on the other side of the map. That's rough, guys. There's no other way to put it, right? Like, right now, it may not seem that bad in numbers, but eventually, this army will grow. Parting is going to need some of that parting magic, whether it's with playing stalkers or a little zealot run by or a warp prism in the main base. There are options out there, but he needs to do something, because if he will just sit back forever, supply block, by the way, right now, for already quite a few seconds. I mean, this oh, is going to hurt, right? This army will become too big. This is going to hurt really bad, because whenever you're on gateway only, with equal upgrades against a Terran, with like a bigger bio army, also the Raven as well, it gets really problematic. So Parting will probably pull out something really crazy, and it can either look really dumb or super genius. But the thing is, he has to do something crazy to get back into this game. What do you go from here? Like, uh, do you go Storm or just Gateway units? Kevin? He's probably going to go Storm. I, I think that is probably the best choice as well. I don't hate Robo Bay Double Robo, yeah. but I'm afraid that the push hits right before yeah. that. And then we can't forget about the Raven, right? Interference Matrix is a little bit better against Colossus than obviously Ooh. it is against High Templars. But this is I look at this army, yeah. guys, and I'm like, well... Uh, Oh, no. Uh, maybe you just spam uh, Zealots, hope to go for a run by, catch a couple of units here and there. But it, what did the sentries do? Wait, what? This didn't start off well at all. I feel that okay. Parting wanted to go for like a kind of base trade and keep the Terran at home. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. It, but, uh, but that's a lot of bio units. Yeah. Oh, man. Cure is handling this very well so far. The army supply of Cure just keeps on growing. He's going to probably snipe that War Prism as well. And a couple of Stalkers attacking, Ooh. and the Orbital Command is nice, and a few SUVs have gone down. But let's not ignore that army on the other side of the map. Mapu? <laughs> that <laughs> army. Yeah, this is huge by Cure. I love the fact that he gave up the third, the natural, just went to the main with everything. Now he's going to obliterate the economy of Parting. The supplies are as close as ever, so I do like the move by Parting. And if he does survive, he will have 2-2. Two, two. Cure, so he, sees, long, yeah, he sees the other goal here, though. Was that a recall with everything that he had? Yeah, he recalled most of the units. That's oh, only is a surprising amount of zealots. Where's the buyer? The buyer went actually away from the tanks and the widow mines. So this is probably the best it would have ever gone for parting. Yeah. I'm really surprised by the supplies. They are way closer than I thought they would be. And it's because half of Cure's army is at home. So parting really abused the fact that recall Ooh. can be as good as it is. And I think parting has handled this beautifully so yep. far. No, he made the best of a very dire yeah, situation. Sure. He was so far behind mm -hmm. after the start and everything. Oh, now the storm starts, and he's going to hit that 2-2 eventually as well against the only 1-1 one, one by the Terran. Is he still on two gases, by the way? Three, but he's not mining from that yeah, one, you so know. Two, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Two more. He's going ham. Oh, well, yeah. He's going to be able to get quite a few storms. I think if Parting gets just a few more run bys or maybe one more prism in the main base, then suddenly we could look at 2-2 two, two gateway units with storm against 1-1 one, one bio. And then it becomes a super playable game. Because the start was rough for Parting. There's no other way to put it. But I like what he did there. He really made a lot of very little. Yeah. And then he survived as well. 
I, I love that he attacked all three bases at the same time as well. Warp Prism in the main, army split between the third and the natural. He really denied mining for as long as he could. Then the recall with everything that he had to then eventually deal with the army back at home is very clean by him. Four High Templars are inside of the Warp Prism, guys. That's going to be quite something. Stalkers were looking for that Raven, Big but they won't get it. But hey, they did get 2-2. Two -two. They did, and that was a big stim on his whole army. Oh, Those medevacs aren't looking super healthy either. Going to flank from the left side. The Warp Prism coming in from the north. Ooh. Looking for a couple of these big storms. The army is just stimming away for now. Warp Prism is like, can I please land a storm? Yes, we can. We can land a couple of very big storms, actually. Oh, yeah. And it is raining all over Cure's army now. He's trying to retreat with everything that he has. He is anti-armor missile, but all the medevacs dropping. Everything is dropping right now, and he is fighting with an upgrade advantage. Parting is fighting to not just stay in this game, but oh, he might be ahead right bio. now. That's a lot of bio, though. It is quite a bit of bio, but I'm with Ben on this one. I yeah, mean, yeah. yes, Cure is still up a couple of workers, so then most of the time you always be like, oh, this is looking really good for Protoss. But 2-2 is done, and Parting just took a big victory, and he's got Storm. Now, obviously, if 2-2 finishes up with a Terran, a couple of Wither Mines are being added to the mix, there is still plenty of room to work with here for Cure. But the fact that Parting is, is, Parting is turning this into such a competitive game, I already find pretty impressive. Yeah, of course. Uh, from the beginning, Parting was so far behind, but then he did the move with the run by of all the units and then the recall, and now this game is even. Uh -huh. I feel like you're kind of feeling this uh, TVP over here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like, man, this matchup is way more action packed than my Zerg matchup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a sick game, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, this can do a lot of fun. So, what's in this? Zealots? Oh, okay, okay. So, he's trying to like buy time again, which oh. is a nice move. Decent storm there on the little portion of the army. Like, Parting is still behind in supply, but his units are better for now just because of the upgrades. Yeah, there's still plenty of stuff happening, right, for Cure. And the fact that he's building his fort base on location, that kind of still uh, oozes a lot of confidence. He's like, I'm not worried at all. Like, yeah, oh. you my entire army. That's big, though. The Widowmine just popped that uh, warp prism as well. We're looking back at these storms. Oh, this was a really goodness. beautiful fight for Parting. Well, that happened uh, just a little bit ago. Parting, once again, has a pretty big army. He was up at work, and now he's down. We've got the enhanced shockwaves being researched as well for the Ghost. I kind of like how Cure is playing, though. He just gets stormed into oblivion. He's like, Fort base on location, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and he's going to sit back as well. Nice. Another recall being used here. How much is it? Look at those Widow Mines, by the way. They can get some big hits. Oh, on the some mortals as well. Like, the barriers actually help a lot against that. But the High Templars oh, totally caught off guard. This was a really nice attack by Cure. Yeah, it was really good for Cure. Guys, this game is actually sick, you know? The first Raider, I was Raiders like, yeah, we'll see where it goes. But so far, Cure is indeed making this a really sick game. Now, once again, I'm favoring Cure a little bit. Oh, look at this one, mine as well. This is a cheeky one. Mapu caught this one, though, Kev, you know? Good job. Well, it was about time he caught something. <laughs> right. Just you know, Mapu. this is one of those games, by the way, where um, <laughs> Reyna, like we called it, right? Like, it was like, oh, my God, he lost 11 pros. We all thought it was over. But Parting's doing such a good job of this game. It's going to get way rougher, though. Four bases up for the Terran. Yes, he's getting 3-3. But there's also going to be, as you called it, Kev, the Ghost uh, upgrade getting online very soon. EMP did connect there with a couple of units, but obviously there's still plenty of High Templars inside of that war prison. The army of Cure is big though, guys. One Immortal might get picked off here. Yes, it does. This is a tough fight for Parting, man. I feel like he needs a little more, right? A Colossus or two, a Disruptor. Or he's going to need the most magical storms of all time, but now we do have Ghost. Cure is just macroing his heart out this game. It's even like every time he loses a Marina Marauder, three more show up. He's doing such a good job, 193 supply. He went up to that fourth base of Parting, kind of destroys it. He's fighting with half his army, killing the Nexus. Ooh. EMPs do land the Marauder split, but the storms are pretty good. Can Parting hold on? There's so much freaking cure right now. Yeah, there's still plenty of Marauders and Gulls left. The Immortals and Archons are putting in quite some work, and Cure actually has an insane amount of medifacts and not that many buy units anymore. Oh, I love how he just split one off. So the, all of these are empty. These are nice pickups for Parting. Oh, great focus fire and the low health ones too yeah. by Parting. That was or nice micro. One. To be honest, that was a sick fight by Parting, considering the fact he was down like 45 to 50 supply. The, like, I didn't, he didn't win the fight, but he's still alone. That's sick. Yeah, he's in trouble, right? The problem, like, I love everything about Parting's play, but sometimes when we get in these sloppy situations, he's suddenly like, I cannot build any more probes. I need nothing but yeah, units. Yeah. And that's a feeling that I'm very familiar with as well. But eventually, you really start falling behind, right? Because of moments like this, with 54 probes, I think you're going to have a really hard time keeping up in a game like this. It's always such a rough position, though, because any move you make feels like it could be the wrong Absolutely. one. And Cure has been piling on the pressure. He's also been doing all the right moves. Like, 
Is he on four or five bases? Oh, he's on four bases right now. Like, he's also been making good tech switches too. Like, he's up to Liberators now, I do believe, as well with this. I haven't seen that many. Oh. There we go. That's the one. We don't have advanced ballistics. No, we don't have advanced because it has, like, they've both been pretty low economy. Like, this game started off very hectic. How does the income look right now? Obviously, we still have a couple of mules to worry about. As oh, well. that's that a lot worse than I thought it was good. going to be. <laughs> I thought it was somewhat close. And we do have a Liberator showing up as well. This middle run is a little bit oversaturated. What's ah. the resources lost, how about? That's one thing that I'm curious about. Okay, so Parding has been trading not as well. But the fact that he's been so far behind in supply to trade even that closely, I'm very impressed. That was a slow warp in on those stalkers, which means the Liberator gets a few more pros. We do have the Protoss army engaging here once again. But this time, we simply have a few too many units over here from Cure. Cure is just playing an awesome game, man. You know what it feels like versus Cure. You kill one CC, two, two more shows up. <laughs> Show up. Uh, it's, uh, it's really insane. His macro is so good. You know, any given moment, look at that production tab. You see like an Archon. You see a Zealot. Yeah, exactly. Look at Cure's production yeah. tab. <laughs> He's just building so much stuff all the time. His macro. Look at that. That's like seven, eight things against one. Wow. Like, honestly, Cure's play, very impressive that game. I know he put... Parting in a really harsh position with that Hellion run by at the start of the game that probably shouldn't have worked given that should have been a wall. But Aww. Cure did everything <laughs> right. He really did. To be fair to Parting, I've had plenty of moments where I'd like scout a 12 pool and I'm like, that's a full wall off. And then like the eight circling show up and they go right underneath my pile. I'm like, all right, I'm <laughs> dead. You know, at that point. So uh, that has happened to the best of us. I think Parting put up one hell of a fight, man, considering how bad that started off. Just like you said. Yeah, it was actually insane. I, I, you know, you know, guys, uh, I called it after the first four aliens killed like twelve probes. And you were right. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. So you're saying that <laughs> we just like wasted twelve minutes of our life. <laughs> Not really, because Parting was playing sick. Yeah. yeah. You know, Reina, we have this uh, bounty. Obviously, you're aware of the bounty. <laughs> yes, we shared the story already. Because you thought you were gonna win the Hawk bounty. Oh yeah. The <laughs> coolest game of the tournament for the people that haven't followed all the action of Hawk Story <laughs> Cup 2. We have a bounty on the line that's provided by Hawk, obviously a legend within the Stock of the community, where it's $2,000 for the winner, $1,000 uh, for the loser yeah. of the coolest game of the tournament. What has been your coolest game of the tournament so far? Like you personally, the ones you've played, because we haven't seen all your matches. The ones I've played? Yeah. Was there one that really stood out or? I think versus Cure, the... Some like uh, the disco game was sick because he, he couldn't he couldn't die. I was on ten bases or something. Mm -hmm. and it just kept going, making units, and that was sick to me. But that was probably only my point of view because I'm not sure. But yeah, definitely the series versus Curie overall was there. Was yeah, the but game. it has to be one map though, right? Yeah, I know. Anything I in the group stage that we maybe didn't see on the main stage? No, the the best moment in the group stages for me was when the Voyagers were faster than my Corruptors versus Mana. <laughs> you know, I had like 20 Corruptors. Yeah. I was like, okay, I'm gonna kill one Voyager and uh, one carrier and then go away. Mm -hmm. But then the five Voyagers start chasing my Corruptors and they're faster than my Corruptors. And I go, what? What is going on? Because I really didn't know the upgrade and anything. So that was my best moment. Anything else, like from maybe the other games, even though we've already uh, hopped into game two, we'll introduce the players real soon. Is there one other game that you've seen so far, whether it was like on the mainstream or not, that you're like, oh my god, that game was sick? You know, I really need to think about it. I was watching from Mana's point of view of yeah. game two versus special. Mm -hmm. That looked so sick to That me. was a sick game. Yeah, exactly, because he, he managed to bring it back with... Two High Templars and one <laughs> I was like, what is going on? Alrighty, guys. Here we go. Game two between these two awesome players. Once again, this is our last best of five of the day. On the left up side of Thunderbird. We're looking at the main base with the man that's leading 1-0. Give it up for Cure. And spawning over in the bottom right side, we f saw him fight back tenaciously. It is parting. Now, in that last game, obviously, we saw Parting start off the game rather roughly. Yeah. But he did a lot of cool moves that yeah. were very smart, like that counterattack and the way that he did it with Warp Prism in the main, attacking the natural, attacking the third. He did a lot of good moves. So I'm mainly looking forward to see a game where he doesn't just start off behind. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. His, his PVT is obviously really, really good. I do think that most of the last game came down to the four aliens and the Banshee. I agree. Yeah. 
I think if, if it's an even game, uh, that game looks way different. With the, couple of, with the fights that we've had, right? Let's say Parting's economy is just a little bit better. He has a few more resources to work with. Yeah. He takes similar fights. Exactly. Most of the time, he runs away with a game like that, yeah, right? Yeah, because yeah. then he does have the money to go four bases. Does have the money to go double robo, robo base, squeeze out a couple of colossus, disruptors, or just go for more run buys. Imagine if he we does. We are missing our gaming. You know what we should do then? Can we get the Frenchies on our couch and they just open our stream? You know what, Funka, Coca, get over here. <laughs> we'll make it nice and cozy for a game. I mean, the space for the French cast is right behind us on these ch like chairs, you know? Absolutely. I mean, I know that they're supposed to cast them over there, but I think if they just open our stream and they just join the main couch for a game, I think we can uh, make it something special. Sure. Mm -hmm. This game, though, opening up, like, it's already a kind of different situation. We don't see the four Hellion opening. We see Parning putting on a little bit of aggression here with the Adept, getting an SCB kill. Cheeky cheeky. Was this Cyber first? I actually have no idea. I think so, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that Adept got into the main base, though, so... Uh, it's gonna go down. It got the scout with the shade, though, right? So it gets to see everything that's going on, gets to see which add-ons are on which building, I do believe. Oh, do what you we're looking at here. Though? I think uh, uh, Mapu's trying to show us what the shade actually is. Yeah, but mm. do you really scout, though? You, you don't really see much with the Adept. He saw enough. No, it's like a little things, like for instance, if the factory is close to the barracks, that can give you a heads up, right? If there is a tech lab being produced, if there's a reactor going down on that barracks, it's a lot of little things. Sometimes, even if you don't see a lot, you know, all of these guys know what it means in this matchup. There's a lot of different possibilities, and you don't, you may not know exactly what you're going up against, yeah, yeah. but you can eliminate a couple of options, sure, and that's yeah. already quite. Good. I think he knows already. It's not fast three CCs. As well, right? Exactly, and he knows the starport is not yeah. being proxied, so he doesn't have to worry about yeah, four Hellions being dropped in his main base, or a Liberator is showing up a lot quicker than it's supposed to. Like, a lot of these scouts, like, you know, I know, if you watch a lot of Stalkers, like, well, that's lame, you know, he just sees what he expected. Yes, but it still means a lot yeah, to yeah, a player yeah, in I the imagine. game. I mean, obviously, I don't have to explain this to you, but... Yeah, I'm not an mm. expert in this matchup, though. No, but I mean, I think the same goes for you if you get a Zergling in, right? Like, you yeah, get yeah. one little run by with your Zergling in the Terran main base, and you're like, all right, this is an option, that's an option and X, Y, and Z are no longer options. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. As, as soon as you can fill in the blanks of like what you're not up against, it makes you so much more confident against everything that you are. You just limit the options of your opponent. Oh, this is so annoying. I would never mind if they, like if I see a Stalker being worked, I'm like, yeah, just drop the mine next to the Stalker. I'd settle for a Stalker kill. I, I would too, I mean. Observer like, kill. Ooh. Ooh. This actually worked out all right for Parting. Oh, oh. there's one Hellion as Did well. it though? Oh. Eight probes. Eight. Wow, that's sick, by the way. The Reaper and the Hellion just going mental. Oh. Now Parting. <laughs> oh no, I hope nothing bad happened. I hope nothing bad happened either, because 11 probe kills. That was a really good distraction drop in the main. Like, yep. Kyo's doing a lot of really sick moves to throw Parting off in the early Killing game. Killing eight probes with just one Hellion and one Reaper is. Do we start every game with like 11 probes going down? <laughs> or like, what's happening over here? Parting's playing hard mode, you know? <laughs> I really hope nothing bad happened to Parting there that I didn't get like a pop-up or something. Because this is like the worst moment ever. Like there's always a four minute and 45, well, four minute and 35 seconds build up to like that first potential Terran aggression if there's no crazy proxy. And if it happens there on that moment, like that'd be super unfortunate. Yeah. I don't know if we have a referee heading over to Parting to make sure that he's all right. Obviously we don't know exactly what's happening. Vapo is telling us he hopes so. Nice. I hope so too, Mapu. You I know, you know, I had a little chat with Mapu right after the series. I was like, "So, what do you think, Mapu?" He's like, eh. "I was like, what does it mean?" He's like, "Yeah, uh, it wasn't bad, but not great." Okay, we have. <laughs> we're just going to resume out of nowhere. So this Reaper and Hellion will get cleaned up, but an insane amount of workers did go down. This is like the absolute opposite way to start off these series, right? Like Terran dealing so much economic damage and being ahead in workers. And right now he's setting up for the, the two base push as well. This is just like the one engineering bay build. It is so good for Cure. Like this is so sad to see uh, Pardon just get wounded so harshly early on. I feel every single time we look at the production tab, there's like seven, eight things going yeah, on yeah, for yeah. Terran. And Protoss is like a gas and a probe. <laughs> <laughs> it's like this doesn't look all right to me, you know what I mean? No, it certainly doesn't. I mean, Parting's going to try and get some counter damage done. Or oh, even losing the first Stalker going up the ramp. Like, just everything that can go wrong is just going wrong for Parting. Yeah, but at least he has a lot of Blink Stalks to buy some time, right? And the fact Look that at Cure, by the way. One Marine goes over there just to make sure. Runs his SUV away. The cancel would be sick. Yeah, okay, he's ah. probably not going to get it. But. Did you see how he ran away his SUV, though? He stopped building yeah, with... Yeah, he's, yeah, he's doing like the little things. 
Ben is getting a little excited over here. Oh. He's like, oh my goodness, all these little fine Terran tricks. Mate, that was just beautiful, though. Got the vision with the <laughs> green, ran the SCB away. Like, this requires quite a lot of effort, but he's doing everything right. <laughs> We're going into a Robo Bay this game, I think. Robo Bay, Forge, yeah, the forge couple more gateways. Way later than the last game. Mm -hmm. It's probably, it's probably going to be a couple of Colossus, I, I think, not Disruptor. Uh, I, I no, I think you're right. I think Colossus makes sense. They go well together with the Blink Stalkers. Of course, the same oh, yeah. can be said for Disruptors. But I just kind of feel like on this map, if you're Terran and Wood Scout, that you go Disruptors, you're like, all right, I'll just keep Macaron up a little bit, and then I'll attack you with Liberators instead. Yeah, I'm not an expert, uh, expert in PvT, but I think Disruptors are good when you have a couple of more units. Absolutely. Yeah. It's one of these armies where it's like, it's not very, like, if you go straight Disruptors, then it becomes hard to really take a fight. If you get flanked once, or if yeah. you get dropped when you're out of position, it becomes painful. But overall, uh, they, they are fantastic, as long as you have something to just tank a couple of shots and make sure you can actually stand there and trade. Can we look at the, the resources lost? It's probably going to be so once I... Yeah. Uh, uh, gets the medevac, but uh, does lose a stalker eventually. Okay. But yeah, about the disruptor conversation, I think disruptors, the only time that you'd ever make them ahead of Colossus when you're like this is when you're super far oh. behind. Oh my gosh. When you're like hoping for like a, a dream hit, you know, yep. like there's no other way to get back into it. Just like that one miraculous hit in the middle of the pack. And it always feels good, but it's hard to set up. Look how quick that fusion core is, by the way, guys. Does no, he have a second starport on the way as well? Oh, he's lifting up the barracks, or rather he's factory, ready for it? it? Double lib. I think he's going to just build the starport there. I, th I think so too, and we're going to see new meta, new wow. ways to do things. Look how dynamic this play is. Yeah. There's an army moving, there's a medevac retreating, and there's another medevac heading towards the natural. Curus is playing some incredibly good Starcraft here, guys. I love parting, and I always want to see parting win, but Curus is absolutely having his number so far. Ah, you got to respect the play of Cure. He's making Parting's life so difficult. Yeah. Killing the economy while killing the ar army. Getting away with the army too. And he transitioning at the same time, right? Fusion Core, second starport. This is some really sick Terran play. Parting's struggling to deal with what Cure's doing now. Never mind the next phase of the game. And Parting, he, he's having to play these games from behind. I love how Reyna is looking at this like, I told you guys, like he's really good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, do, I do believe Cure is sick in some... Like, uh, for example, his medivac. His medivac drops are so sick. He knows when to drop, he knows when to retreat. You know, he's so good. I love the confidence as well, man. He's like getting at fast ballistics. He's moving out, he's dropping. Fort base on location okay. once again. <laughs> he's like, what are you going to do about it, mate? I know that I've been doing some serious damage up to this point. And at this point, like, Blink Socks are awesome, right? But you kind of want to control the map. You don't just want to sit there and defend and lose all control over what's happening on the other side of a map like Thunderbird. I love, I love some of the little things too. Like he stayed on one engineering bay for a long time and really prioritized that second star port, the fusion core, yeah. to get out the liberators as fast as possible. So we're definitely going to see a lot of new styles and new ways to approach this game because the momentum switch in which you get liberators online with range is so much quicker and Cure is going to abuse that this game. So what do you do now as parting? Because I feel like he's getting out uh, by a lot because he's going for, for high Templars now and the range is basically done. I think that's a very good question, yeah. and I think it's a difficult one to answer. But I honestly believe that as long as you max out, there's always a chance, right? Sure, like, attacking yeah. at this point is pointless. Like, that's not going to work. You're not just suddenly randomly winning the game. So at this point, you want to be bulletproof for the next two minutes. Make sure you get closer and closer to being maxed out. And once you're maxed out, you've always got a fighting shot. You land a good storm. You land a disruptor hit. You get a good fight with the Colossus. And the world is still your oyster. Anything is possible. I wouldn't get too adventurous, man. No, and it's a lot of oh, fun. mate, whenever you see Jeez. that many liberation zones, all of a sudden, you know you're in a little bit of trouble. Parting, does set up the storms, by the way. Storm is like halfway done. He's got that prism once again with the four high templars. And I like what he's doing here. He's like threatening a counter attack just to try and <laughs> slow down Cure. <laughs> what the? Was that using the attacks from them? Yes. Because <laughs> he didn't have storm ready. <laughs> <laughs> that was the least impressive drop of all time. <laughs> He has to show dominance for his, <laughs> He's like six damage at a time. I'll instill fear in him. <laughs> All right, Storm is done, by the way. Parting once again, forcing a little bit of an awkward base trade here. He's got a lot of Storm to work with. Oh, I love what Cure is doing over here, though. He's getting right on top of these probes all the time. The Storms. Oh, he storms his own probes? Ah. Oh, that's one way to lose 38 probes, 42. Yeah, these storms, they're dealing a lot of damage. The counterattack of Parting, yes, yeah, dealing damage is going to get a lot of SCV kills as well. 
But if these Liberators reposition just a little bit, it's going to be very rough for Parting. And Parting's losing everything, man. I mean, he's stormed <laughs> his own props, right? Like, most of the time, things start looking pretty bad at this point. I love the way that Curious split up his army there. This is still Ooh. a really serious Protosports to work with. How many Blink Stalkers do we have? Wait, Kev, the army value, Parting's actually ahead in army right now, and he's getting on top of the production as well. He's doing the same thing as last game, you know, when he's behind, he goes for a... Uh, oh, face. Liberator goes a little bit too far forward, gets picked up immediately, the other Liberators. Uh. There isn't this much, that much bio, by the way, to protect these Liberators, oh. so Parting is actually going to be able to take out a lot of these libs. The last one takes a little while. One what? Colossus does survive. Harding's uh, ahead in supply. Hello. The army value is 75 against 44. He's coming across with the rest of his army. What? He's cleaned up the counterattack as well. Cure, he's scrambling right now. Wow, this was actually such a sick counterattack in the end. There's a War Prism showing up as well. A few more Stalkers are going to get warped in. But Cure doesn't have that much to work with anymore. The Marines going to try to take out the Prism. They won't succeed in doing so. Parting is actually not starting to do it. Does. Parting is fighting tooth and nail here. His supply is still ahead. Cure's now losing all his SCVs. What? Oh GG! Parting fights back in a miraculous fashion. Uh, wow. Down 15, 16 workers, down in pretty much every single aspect. You can be behind it in a game of StarCraft 2. Goes for a little base trade, turns it around, gets the W. What a legend, man. I saw you looking at me, Kevin. We were joking a little bit because he was storming his own probes. But then all <laughs> of a sudden, after being 60 supply down, 100 supply against 160, he, he made magic happen. That was true. Look at Cure's face. He's like, what uh, the hell just happened there? That may be a little overeager, right? Like, Cure didn't really have to make any moves. Like, he was basically getting everything he was supposed to get. And I think he also knew that that was maybe a game that he uh, shouldn't have lost in the end there. But well done by Parting. And that means more StarCraft for all of us. Oh, yeah. So I think that's pretty good news. Oh, yeah, we love that. <laughs> oh, I think that was a great game. And Cure, you see on his face, he's still a bit like, ah. Maybe, maybe he was thinking like, oh, I should have really respected that counter push way more. Moved all my Liberators to the main base. Got my main base settled because maybe I could have, well, I think he would have been really far ahead if he just kind of secured the one base situation. If he gets a Liberate count up there with Advanced Ballistics finishing up, that army of parting is really not able to achieve much at all, right? But the moment you put yourself in awkward positions, there is always a possibility of a devastating counterattack. And I got to give it to Parting, though. He does have a little bit of that killer instinct, oh, yeah. right? Like, he Definitely. is one of those Protoss players that's just able to win games where you look at the numbers, you look at what they're working with, and you're like, yeah, that's not going to work. And he gets it done. Yeah, that was actually insane. <laughs> and, you know, I, I want to see a proper game between these two, where Parting doesn't lose 12 probes at the beginning of the game. Exactly. Let's not forget about that. We're all tied up at this point. The score is one apiece. In both games... The first wave of harassment did an insane amount of damage. What happens if that is actually not the case? That's one thing I just wanted to mention as well. Like, talking about momentum, every game so far, Parling's lost way more probes than you ever should. Realistically, you lose, like, a couple here and there. Padinatos is on the head, you know? <laughs> a little bit of a high five going down. But, <laughs> but yeah, if he goes into the game, like, momentum-wise, if he, if he just starts one game and only loses, like, five, six probes, which is still kind of bad in a normal situation, yeah. he's looking so fresh right now. No, I'm uh, curious to see the other maps that we've got coming up as well. I like that we're finishing up with a nice competitive series. Spicy, right? yeah, and these guys are very evenly matched. And this is a very cheeky Protoss against a very good standard Terran here. And it's beautiful to see it happen. All righty, boys, here we go. Ephemeron is going to be the next map in this last best of five of the day. This is day three of Homestory Cup 20, which I think has truly been a very beautiful and memorable Homestory Cup already. In the left top side, we're looking at the main base of our Terran player in this series. Guys, if you want another Terran player to advance, can we make some noise for Cure? Nice. They just love partying. Yeah. <laughs> I think they do. I think they're doing spawning over in the southeast side. He fought back in spectacular fashion and crowd. If you want a Protoss to advance, here it is, partying. <laughs> Aye, aye, aye. It's the stream, streamer's blessing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm so impressed. Like, both these guys are playing out of their mind right now. And it's so late into the day. They've both been playing all the way as well. Now we're getting close to midnight over here in Europe. It's not that bad. Right? Like, we've had a couple of hopes to go. I remember we had one final. I don't know if that was like 12 or 13 or something along those lines. But I think we started our grand finals at like 1.45 a.m. And I remember Rain back then looking over. He's like... What on earth am I doing over here? <laughs> like, he's like, there's many things I want to do right now, but I don't want to play another best of seven. But 
I guess if I do, I may as well win it. And he did, but he looked pretty upset back then. This is Cyber first again. I'm pretty sure. Because the pattern is before the gas. Ooh. Look at me, boys. I trust you, Rainer. I trust you. Now, this probe, obviously, he's been a bit cheeky. He slowed down the CC a little bit, tried to do, do it as much as he can, and, oh, that pylon. What do you think this signifies, Kevin? Maybe, like, a proxy Stargate or something like that? Knowing that it's spotting, I wouldn't be surprised at all. I actually think that's the most likely scenario. Like, a robo would just be a little bit too wild, right? Like, even for potting. A gateway, I feel, is a little bit too late and shouldn't achieve that much. So, I think at this point, the Stargate is the only logical option. And that's exactly what it drops down on the left ah. side of the map. So, likely to be very aggressive right from the get-go. Since this one is so close, right? Like, it could even be a very bizarre build. Now, I don't want to get too carried away, because most likely... 99% of the time, this is just an oracle. But in some weird universe, this could be a void ray or something as well. With the speed. <laughs> I would love that. Like, and if anyone's going to do it here, yeah. it is parting. But I don't know if we can really get our hopes up that high. But here, so there is no tech in the main base of parting. So it most likely knows there is a proxy somewhere. And he did keep that Reaper alive for a long time. And maybe he's smart enough to know that, like, hey, there's one pylon missing. Like, you should definitely have one more. Like... So we'll see what happens. Right now, he's still making Hellions, though. He's making Marines. Like, the, the Hellions are a bit of a funny option, I think, when you're not reactoring them out. Because the damage that you can deal with, like, just a couple isn't too high. Yeah, but it's been working out so well for him, right? And he does force units to stay at home. So these adapts make it into the main base. This looks very promising for parting. And he's absolutely going to get a couple of SCVs here. The big problem is there's uh, a Hellion in his natural uh, uh, as well. And that's the problem. Oh, when you oh, said your adapts don't line him up like that, oh, parting. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, just when we said. Oh, no. Oh. Maru. Please survive. I thought you were like saying I was uh, mimicking Pig, but no, you're just bringing up my fail from a long time ago. <laughs> that was not a fail. That was passion. Uh, it was passion, man. I was so sad. Oh, we got out of Viking really quickly here to defend. So some sixth sense there from Cure. Just realized, like, oh, what I'm going to be against here. I don't want to oh. say anything anymore. I'm just expecting Pirating to lose 10 probes every <laughs> I love how this Viking is a the song as well. It's like... What are you going to do about it? <laughs> <laughs> you're going to pop that oracle? Are you sure you're going to pop that oracle parting? Oh my god, he chrono boosted! That's asserting your dominance right there. <laughs> like, <laughs> I know you're there. You know I'm here. Yeah. Let's oh get no. this out. Oh, no. Ay, ay, ay. So oh, oh, nice okay. around with the pros, but... Okay, two pros. Still annoying. Could have been Mac a lot worse. Guys, oh, Mac Field Accelerator? Oh, let's go. Oh, because he, he knows the Stargate is proxied, so it's a good... Good plan, right? Absolutely. It's There's a couple of very sick pushes available, right, then with, uh, Ben, with a couple of Marines, one, two medevacs, and then two or three Cyclones with Macfield? Yeah, absolutely. Like this, for a while, uh, you uh, know, <laughs> oh, nice pickup to just slow it down so the Oracles could get on top of it. I know you giggled at it initially because you're like, what the hell is this guy doing? But I this canceled the lock on. It makes yeah, sense, right? Yeah, it actually was quite good. And also, um, Talking about maps like King's Cove from a while ago, oh. Mech became very popular. Man, how many pros is he killing? Curious, <laughs> how, could, how does he fight this amount of damage every single TVP that he's playing? This really doesn't make any sense at all. Uh, oh, another lock on this big, time. That Phoenix uh, is actually going to survive, but it did take a lot of real damage. Manifact makes his way to the other side of the map immediately. All right, Rainer, 10 more probes or not? Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh, no, never mind, never mind. <laughs> Okay, Vi more Vikings, more Barracks, more Cyclones. So he's really respecting the Oracles here. I love that Oracle skin, by the way. It makes it feel like it's a little flurry. <laughs> green mm. ball uh, 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 uh. It's not going to end well, is it? It's not going to end well, Reyna. It's not at all. Yeah. Though he does get away with both the Oracles. Lose the Phoenix. That could have been way worse. Issues. Yeah, it's a Phoenix. lot of energy that he used there as well. Yeah, losing the Phoenix is so annoying now, right? Absolutely. Lose Helps uh, to chase away medivacs, yeah, right? If a medivac is stuck in a corner... Yeah, exactly. You can one camp with medivacs and you need to leave at least two stalkers or something. That's really annoying. No, no. Now, the game has been very chaotic so far, but we see the work account. That is always a bad sign for the Protoss when he's behind. It's not just the work account, man. It's the fact that Macfield Accelerator is complete as well and Blink is not done yet. So every lock-on is going to hurt so freaking much. Obviously, this that will be able to shade away Ooh. in time. But these stalkers, they're going to have a very tough fight against these Cyclones with Macfield. And here is the Medivac showing up in the main base as well. Blink is still not done. And what do you think when you're a Protoss and you see that the Terran is not only be defending and harassing you so hard, but he has Magfield Accelerator? I think I'm screwed. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what he's going to be thinking. Oh. These Oracles, though, they do find a spot and they get to deal damage too. How many workers have they both lost this game? Focus firing the probes at the last minute as well? You want to play the right. guessing game, Ben? Okay, I, I, I'm going to guess 24 probes. Total. 
Yeah, and, and across both races. No, no, twenty-four probes. No, that's each. Too many. No, probes, man, not SUVs. Oh, you said both. Well, yeah, we'll go on to Terran soon. I think it's been like uh, I think twenty-four probes. Sixteen SUVs. No, let's go I'm with forty workers overall. I'm what? saying fifteen probes. Fifteen probes. Fifteen. Yeah. You said twenty-four. I think twenty-four probes. Fifteen. Okay. Actually, I'm I'll go with 14. nineteen. Fourteen. Okay, let's go. Mapu, how many probes have been? Ooh, 21. 21. What? And 17. Hey, I was freaking close. I said 40 overall, basically. <laughs> <laughs> you said 24 probes. I said 24 probes, 15 SCVs, man. That was freaking close. It was th 37 overall. But I said 19 probes. I was closer than you, mate. <laughs> ah, so what? <laughs> Ooh, oh, no. losing both those oracles right there. Uh, Potting is going to go for another counterattack, though. We know that he's capable of ma making magic happen. Backfield hurts so much. You really got to prevent that. Force field does land. Oh, oh my another, oh, Viking. another Viking. Viking. Where did they come from? This is from the cinematic, man. The Vikings come <laughs> back. <laughs> Absolutely. Where's the ultra? Am I right? <laughs> Not in this matchup, Kevin. <laughs> Up. Oh, this is this is harsh though. Like fighting against those cyclones with this kind of meat shield of SUVs and bio, you can't fight that. I love that SUVs like that's <laughs> little sense. I love you, mate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Coming to get you. Warp Prism is on the way. Robobay goes down. What a you know what I love most about this series is that it's impossible to call who's winning these games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's How come Party makes these games even? Because that's parting. Yeah, he lost. Ten. Yeah, I really want to see a game where parting doesn't lose many probes. No, we don't because that will be boring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's probably going to be way too good at that point. So <laughs> let's just keep it on like this. Parting does not have a forge, though. Am I right? And that's mm. always kind of an awkward spot. Then again, Mana made like one attack upgrade in three games against Special, and he won three L. So who says forges are important? Yeah. Worked out pretty well for him. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this but do a lot of damage because. Is combat shield ready? Do you think Parting's bringing Cure to his kind of game, though, with it being a bit chaotic like this? Or do you think this is more comfortable for Cure? Oh, gets into the main base. You know, honestly, I don't think it's comfortable for either of them, man. Yeah. I'm getting stressed out watching these games, so I have a hard time believing they know exactly what's happening. I do believe Parting is playing to his ability of making magic happen in crisis situations. I still feel like Cure is making a more solid impression so far. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Like, th this is when you have these two guys that have very different styles and they clash, right? And they both have to go off the wall against each other because to take out the other one... Ooh, just blink it. Okay, I thought that was Magfield and Accelerator shot from the top, but still, a pro or rather a stalker for a Marauder. Does he have a Colossus out there, right? Oh, that was nice. Another drop shows up in the main base. No shield better here, no cannon here as well. And this drop actually does really hurt, but at the same time, morning slows out a drop. Charge should be finishing up real soon. We can see on the right side just a couple of seconds away before these Zealots do have charge. You know, they always say never base rate at Terran, but I'd also say never base rate Parting, man, because I think he's pretty good at this. He is so good at base trading, it seems like. He's, he's made something out of nothing nearly every game, and this is getting pretty close now. Like, the, the bad thing for him is he's against Cure that has a better supply and a better work account, but also upgrades on the way. You know, any other game, I'd right, right now I'd be like, oh my god, this is so bad for the Protoss. You know, he's down in workers, down in army. There's basically nothing going well. No upgrades either for the Protoss. But I actually refuse to count parting out. Yeah. Because I don't know how he gets these victories, but he can make it happen. You can't do it anymore after this series. You actually cannot count him out. Yeah, he, I think he was in a similar position last game. I think probably even worse, but yeah, he can't can't really par count parting out. I think Cure's being a little less crazy now, though. This army, he's obviously trying to buy time a little bit, but he's not going across the map and being super duper crazy. Sure. Well, there's not a couple of parting. units being shaved off yeah. on the left oh. side. A few more Widomites being shaved on the right side. Probes are going down against oh. the double drop. <laughs> Guys, here we go again. <laughs> this is so sick. This is so crazy. Cure has Let's like go. one army in the middle of the map that's not really doing anything at all. He's what got one army in the main. What is this? What's going right? on? He's attacking everywhere! There's Rose. probes going across the map! There's probes going to the north! What the hell is happening this game? No, so see. Alright, do we have any Vikings out? That forward blink there. Is there any bio in the corner? That's actually quite a bit of bio, by the way. That's the amount of bio you have to respect with stalkers. You don't want to blink forward there. You're going to lose everything. The Colossus need to help out. The Colossus are in range right now. Now you can blink. Parting is going to go for it. Oh my god, this series is so cool, guys. This is some of the crazy StarCraft. Like, Parting is really uh. far down in supply, but his army's still very strong. 
but he's on top of the production. But he needs Kyo's to army doesn't really get much better. I do really feel he needs to kill that army before the rest shows up. If he doesn't kill this army, then I think it's going to be a tough game. There's a couple of benefits as well, so Cure could evacuate, but that's not what he's going to do. He's going to stim forward, War Prism, good save there on the Colossus. He's focusing down the War Prism though with the Vikings. This Viking. could be very nice. Oh, the last Viking dies. The War Prism stays alive. Guys, I mean, Cure's going to end up losing all of no his units, way. and the supply is suddenly quite a bit closer. Obviously, Potting doesn't have a lot to work with, no but he does have two Colossus and a Nexus yeah, going up in the right so top sick. side. What is going on this game? 73 supply against 72. I have no idea what's happening. Look Cure. at the army supply. 49 yeah. against 49. It is oh, so oh, close. Crazy. Cure, he's still mining from that third base, and he floated away his production, but Cure's army is actually really <laughs> strong. Even floating away his third right now. He's floating away everything, mate. He's got so much money, but he can't spend it because all of the buildings are flying at this point. Guys, I look at his army and I'm like, I like Potting's army so much yeah, more right yeah, now. Yeah. Oh, and taking out the SCVs as well as the trying to <laughs> the hidden base with his SCVs. <laughs> and we've got another draw. I think he's going to go for the pool on base trade, but Potting does still have 23 probes out on the map. He's going to chase out a couple of these. We've got workers <laughs> fighting at the end of day three, guys. <laughs> if this Nexus falls, by the way, he can't afford another Nexus. So this is really important. Uh, uh -oh. He could actually force the base trade if he kills that Nexus. Are we going to have a draw here? Oh, it could yeah. be the draw. This could be the draw. Oh my goodness. See if he didn't lose the Phoenix. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Comes down to that. I mean, part, don't forget that Cure still has money. Cure could still maybe build up a little bit of an army. Oh my goodness. But the Guys. worst that could, could happen now for Cure is a draw, right? Yeah, the worst that can happen is a draw. Yeah, yeah he I could said still win the game. I said that once in a WSG cast, and then the Terran just Mara, left. Right? There's Mario, Mario yeah. yeah. Because he's like, I forgot my buildings could fly. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I remember that game. I remember it on Reddit. <laughs> I was like, you're one of the best air players ever. You've got buildings oh, could fly. Oh, 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 that would be sick. Oh, what a game, game, boys. Cure, I think he realizes what's up, right? Because yeah. he's Fighting not giving up. 60 minerals. Does he have a gas somewhere far away? I mean, he's still got a few buildings in the natural. He's kind of cornering Link, him in Sniping Manifax is massive here, by the way. Go for Manifax first, man. So, uh, he wants to fight the army instead. Min there's like one HP on that medevac. Are you kidding me? Oh, oh my no. goodness. Wait, Cure? Is he making more command centers right now as this is going on? Yeah, like he... I mean... Okay, that's uh -huh. Very diligent scouting by Parting. Guys, game of the tournament? Um, who knows? Who knows? Could the game of the tournament be a draw? <laughs> <laughs> who thought about that, eh? 1500, 1500. <laughs> I think we have to. I think we have to. This is great. Oh, he's no, still Cure, making marauders? Cure had money in the bank all along. He's got zero workers, but he does have an orbital. He's got a command center. Like, I, I agree with you guys when it says Cure can't lose. He can only draw unless he forgets that Terran buildings can chill in the corner. But that's that's very He already knows they can fly. He's been flying them around for a while now. Yeah, but then sometimes they say, he's like, can I fly above C as well? Like, <laughs> <laughs> do they run out of fuel? You know what I'm saying? Nah, nah, he's going for the draw. He keeps yeah, it yeah. back in the corner. I love it. It's chilling. You can tell. You know, everybody backstage right now has a heart attack. We're supposed to finish up at midnight, guys. Well, that ain't happening, all right? <laughs> oh, what a crazy game by both these guys. You know when you see two players so evenly matched against each other? It's beautiful to watch StarCraft happen like this. But how does Spartan make games? Oh, wait! Like this? Where are all his buildings? He's got half his army across the map right Only now. Only 60 minerals, by the way. That's not enough to build anything. No, and this, this is a uh, group of marauders that randomly hello? came onto the map. Spartan? Oh, he's still got stalkers and a war prison, but that's a lot of marauders. You can't fight that. There's you no can't way. fight that. No. no. These Marauders are stronger. Cure is going for the elimination, guys. Can How many buildings are left, Maple? Can Maple? we see Cure's vision? What does Cure see it's right only now? only four buildings. Oh, that, that, that's it. That's right it. Here. Jesus. Is Cure going to do this right now? Hello? He's parting way out of position. If Cure, if Cure gets the Twilight, the Gateway, and the Cybernetic Square is going to win the game. The stock is doubling forward. The Marauders get the Cybernetic Square. They will not get the Gateway. Ooh. The Medivac goes not down. No, oh, no, no, no. the Medivac's down. One building survives from parting. He can't like make anything else right now. There's five Marauders that remain. Uh-oh. Guys, there's a little hit squad there. They're going for a mission. He's still building Marauders oh. as well. What's Parting's vision? Can we take a look at Parting's vision? Oh. Why is there a Colossus in that prism? Colossus ain't even good against Marauders. <laughs> yeah. But that sentry is going to help out an awful lot Absolutely. if an army tries to get through that. I love how the probes come back as well. It's like, we got this. Oh, oh he found it. He found it. The last squad, that army of Parting in the middle, immediately Stim goes to the east. Run, Stim run. Oh, okay. Cure uh, gets yeah. some Marauder there. This looks like a draw, guys. Does Cure have any mining at this point? Though? No, zero. Does He's he have an orbital still somewhere? Is there an orbit? Okay, no orbit. So this is the only one? Well, that's the command center. 
He can't make a thing. He can't actually mine anything. He can't repair it either. If it's burning, it's going to go down. Wait, he's still got a barracks on the left side of the map or something floating, yeah, right? Yeah, but this command said we'll always yeah. go oh. down. The Marauders get caught in the middle of the map. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we have a draw. A very oh, yeah. first draw of the tournament. I mean, this building will go down, but there's still a barracks flying somewhere. And that's going to be it. Parting has no way to build a nexus at this point. Parting has no way to mine minerals. Parting can never get a unit in the sky to attack these barracks. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a draw. Well played. This was a great game between these two guys. And wow. again, Parting comes back from certain death. I don't know what to say anymore, guys. I'm not going to say anything. There's <laughs> nothing that any of us can say. All we can do is just enjoy what is happening right it's now. It's just beautiful. I am so happy that we looked at that game, right? And we said, let's not count him out. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. Because any other game in the world would be like, Protoss is down 30 supply, they're down in upgrades, they're down in workers, they're down in army. Yeah, this game is super over, okay? Let's get ready for the next one. But not with parting. <laughs> oh no, that, that I'm <laughs> super impressed, man. <laughs> so sick. I'm super impressed. I'm so happy we had a draw at Home Circle Cup 20, because this event had literally everything up to this point. But now we had a draw as well. Yeah. In the last game of the day, it is, it's insane. Tropical Island uh, has a heart attack at this point. We're supposed to be quiet, guys. But we're not going to be quiet, all right? <laughs> 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 the next Widow Mind drop, we're all going to shout. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I still have no idea how Parting is doing this because he was like 30, 40 no. supply down again, but he just goes for it, man. He goes for the No upgrades as well. That's the no upgrades. Took the last looks so bad stalkers. for him. And then it's a drop in his Nexus like it is natural. The army comes in its third. Parting still finding a way, like. Ah, oh, outstanding play. You know, yeah. if I was listening to myself at home and be like, yo, this game isn't over yet, I'd be like, shut the fuck up, all right? <laughs> yeah. you know, this game is super over, Roddy. What are you talking about? Like trying to make this game exciting right now. Like, uh. I hate it when casters do that, you know, that artificial hype that they always do. Don't lie to us. Well, with parting, there is a little bit of magic possible. Oh, yeah, definitely. And he just proved it once again. Guys, what a series. What? This is insane. Three games in, but we're 1-1. One, one, <laughs> and like really, parting, like every game, he should have been like 3-0 against him, honestly. Losing like 10, yeah, no. 12 probes at the start of every game. Oh, no, Cure should have been on the couch at this point. Like, oh, yeah, the last yeah. game is like, how are you opening so good? Why do you kill so many workers every <laughs> game? <laughs> <laughs> Looks so easy. <laughs> <laughs> Can't and believe it. We're all like getting exhausted watching this because these games, they don't make sense anymore. Like they, they avoid all the rules of StarCraft 2. It's like, he's ahead. But now he's ahead. Like they're bouncing here, there and everywhere. It's just... It's so, so awesome to see. Guys, what happened now? Is there like an actual regame on Ephemeron, or do we move to the next map and do we keep on playing? I think, I think it's a regame. Just on Ephemeron? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> All right. Here we go again. <laughs> this is sick. You know, most of the times when I see TVP, I'm next to a turn maybe, and the Widow Mind Drop doesn't do, that, doesn't do damage, but, you know, it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't let the probes mine for a bit, and they're like, oh, this game is over. And then I see... Time probes killed and uh, even game, boys. <laughs> so impressed. Alrighty, guys. I know you've been loving this series so far, and so have we. Like I said, here we go. Again, in the right bottom side of Ephemeron, we're looking at the main base of the Terran player. We're all tied up at this point. It is Cure. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what is happening? <laughs> How is this not <laughs> over yet? I'm 3 0, but I'm actually 1 1. Oh, oh my god. Looking like a different game from the last one. <laughs> Talk about mixing it up. And guys, do I introduce the player? What Absolutely. do I do right now? Well, you just introduce the player. Okay, we'll introduce him here. Spawning at this pylon right now, basically, because this is a massive cheeky play from the man himself. It is parting. Now, I know Twitch chat is going to ask it, so I'm going to ask it to you guys. Is this the Max Packs? Basically, yeah. <laughs> Why did you say basically, yeah? What's the difference? Uh, I mean, it is the Max Packs, actually. He's made the pylon in the main, the pylon there at the gateway spot. It is the Max Packs. For, on, for a while, he was actually going like Nexus first, then a proxy gateway, which is really Max Packsy. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to see uh, how Cure handles this so far. How do you like, after a game like that, right, where you're, like, you played a very macro oriented oh. style, didn't really work out, eventually counted, and you somehow forced out a draw? Can you imagine, like, what goes through Parting's mind? He's like, you know what? In the regame, I'll just proxy my gate immediately. <laughs> like, that's so sick. Yeah. Oh, he's waiting for a second Zealot as well while Chrono boosting them out. Double Chrono on the Zealots, by the way, guys. This is the series of the tournament. How so do you all the Reaper with this build? Well, 
That's going to be painful. <laughs> but two Zealots can do way more damage than one Reaper. So eventually, right, after these two Zealots, you start making the Stalker immediately. And you can recall it. Yeah, you can recall it. Really? But he used two Chrono Boosts, no? Uh, 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 he's even used an extra one. Yeah. <laughs> Probably, yeah, <she's> <laughs> she Reaper. Make I think you hope that the Reaper goes home. All right, the Zealot's going to work on the SCV. That natural's never going to finish up. The and Reaper does on. come home. Oh, the other SCV got picked up before the Supply Depot finishes up. I, I would love it if... It, oh, cancels the CC as well on the low ground. I was just about to say, I hope he keeps Can he the Zealot get the on the low ground. The Stalker's going to show up as well, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, He's well, going to kill the Depot, though. He is going to get the Depot. Never mind, never mind. Oh, oh it yeah. survives just about the With Reaper the Stalker, buying time. you can get it, guys. With the Stalker, you can absolutely get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two Marines show He's up. going to try to repair the SCV. SCVs are repairing He's doing SCVs. it as well. Oh, oh the Depot so still stays alive. Go Two for Marines the other Depot. Okay, the Marines are out right now. But look at that Stalker. It's been putting in some very serious work. And don't forget, okay, you recall the second Stalker, by the way, on the left side of our oh, yeah, screen. That's good. But he's not done yet. But no, he's he looking isn't. good for yeah. parting, isn't it? It's looking very good for parting. Wow, he actually recalled the Stalker before the Reaper even arrived. I don't hate it, though. Like I, I don't hate it either. Just like... This is the first game that he hasn't had any damage done to him. Just Might as well play safe from here on. Look at it working on this game. Parting is up five workers. His nexus is done and obviously on location. The command center is being built in the main base. It's not on location yet. Blink is on the way already. What a absolutely fantastic start for Parting here. Oh, certainly. Oh, he's going to get the Reaper as well. Boom. Deny scouting from here on as well. This is looking sick for Parting. I tell you what, he is reinvigorated. After coming back from that last game, oh, yeah. he's looking so strong here. Oh, yeah. Now, looking at the way that this series has played out, if it does look really sick for parting, which I completely agree with, does it mean Cure win? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> if this, <laughs> if this series is anything now. to go by, yes. It's amazing how much it's bounced around so far. Like, you can't call anything in this series. Oh, he's going for tanks. Yeah, he, I mean, Maybe his Starport's like only just started. That's the only thing he can make. He has to yeah, be yeah, defensive, yeah. right? Do you think that he could potentially move out with two tanks and a medevac and make one of those like weird marine tank pushes? It's obviously super risky, but he kind of needs to do something though, right? Like all memes aside of how crazy this series has been, Cure is going to have to do something, otherwise he falls so far behind. I think he, he, he could do maybe just going for the gateway and the pylon just to like settle that down a little bit. Yeah. But with the way that Parting's been playing, like look, we have Warp Prism and Blink Stalkers on the way. That could be real dicey. <laughs> SCV scout. What is this SUV? Like, this is a great scout. I guess see the warp, or rather... How did it get there, by the way? I have no clue. That is like Christopher Columbus over here, just sailing. <laughs> <laughs> That's like three stalkers guarding the natural and someone as if he shows up on the other side of the map. It's like, all right. You know, Raynor, this has been your very first series on the couch so far. Yeah. I'm just going to go with the fact that you're a lucky charm. We're going to need you more often over oh here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if all series look like this. Uh -huh. That'd be great. Oh, this is oh, really no, a sucky unlucky. position to put your command center. Oh, no. Like, I mean, th this is one of those games where you're like, yeah, I'll never put the command center exactly there again, just because it can hit, get hit by the low ground. Yep. But the series has been so hectic. Fighting has quite Ooh. a bit of money. He does eat that Widowmine shot, but he takes care of the tank, gets the Widowmine in the end there as well. These stalkers have Blink. Obviously, there are no upgrades for the Marines at all. There's no Stim. There is no Combat Shield. Parting wants to get quite feisty here. There's quite a few minerals in the bank as well. I think he's going to try to Blink on the tank because he's an absolute oh, madman. No. Oh, what? He is a madman. He's, he's trying to split up his stalkers there. The tanks are getting juicy shots. Nice micro that's with the cold. war prism. No, he gets both, guys. <laughs> Parting is so sick. He's going to get four more stalkers now. There's no more tanks, guys. He has just managed that's to kill three tanks with blink stalkers. And he's taking a third. Like, he's no. feeling so confident. Oh, my oh. God. Oh. Oh. oh, it's so sick. I'm a big fan, guys. I'm, yeah, of I'm course. I'm a big fan. Parting lands the force field on the ramp. He's going to get quite a few SCVs here. And things are going from bad to worse for sure. He does get another tank up the high ground. It's going to get a couple of good shots off, but the amount of SCVs that has gone down is already very problematic. Parting is styling right now. He's feeling more comfortable yeah. than he ever has. This is the parting of old that we're seeing right now. This is the streaming parting, baby. Like what? Oh. what? What do you mean? Okay, he does get the tank in the end. <laughs> Once you get the rain, oh, he gets the, the rain. Last yeah. shot. Come on, guys. And he's like, this you know what I love, by the way, when you're like super winning game, he's like, it's a macro build, by the way, guys, <laughs> double fours. And I'm like, oh, come on. <laughs> like, you've been going for all the offensive blinks out there. I love it. Oh, this is so good for Parting, though. We talked about it, the men momentum uh, before this game started. It was like, who should be feeling better from this point on? Because he's had a, such a bad start. 
every game. But here, this was so good for party. He's not done yet, boys. No, he's not. <laughs> He's the side of the door of what? Like, what is he looking for here? Okay, he knows where the tank is now, so he has to be a bit careful about that. God, he's got in shield. He wants to get the orbital. He's going to warp him more here too. I, I wouldn't be surprised if he super commits. Okay, okay. He does get out ah, of the there. The tank was repositioned. Well done by Cura. He's you know, like gonna play it safe. Cura is still uh, down 18 workers. By the way, we still don't have Stim or Combat Shield, right? No, and like he's not had a oh, tech lab on a so barracks sad. for so long. He's actually remaking the Raven that he lost earlier as well. There's no bunker here either. I mean, this is so painful to play for Cure. It's just it feels unfair, right? Because Sporting can make all the cool moves in the world, and Cure all he can do is react. Like it doesn't really feel fair. I, I mean, it isn't at this point. Like that that way that he opened up, it just really affected Cure like economically. He defended well. He was like even presumptuous about, okay, the Reaper's coming across the map. I'm going to do an early recall for it. Parling's played the perfect game. Four base, why not? <laughs> Charge on the way. Templar Archives get slapped down as well on the left top side. A couple of Immortals are being produced. I'm They're still hanging in there, but... I was just thinking, just there, Mapu like, just showing all the armies around Cure's base. Parling's just waiting for him to uh, do anything. Oh, that scan, when you see it, it's so well saturated as well. He knows the clock's on him now. Yeah, yeah, it hurts. But what does he do? I mean, Reyna, you asked what does Parting do earlier on, but what does Cure do right yeah, now? I have no clue. I think the play here is to camp with tanks, to be honest. You can't really move out and blink and Zelos, can you? No, I agree. Like, there's absolutely nothing that Cure can do at this point. And it's really sad for Terran to just sit at home because every Terran player likes to get feisty, yeah. likes to get aggressive. But sometimes you do it best when you do nothing at all. Yeah, I sit at home, you get a couple tanks, and you hope for the best. You know you what I like to do in this type of situation, so versus Brothers, for example. I, when I go lurkers, I'm so far behind, and I make like 30 lurkers, and I'm like, okay, at some point, it's probably going to attack into me. And then they suicide, and then I, I counterattack. This is probably the play that Cure should do, to be honest. Like your game against Hero at the Global Final? Yes. On Winter's Gate? It didn't go quite, <laughs> quite that way, but... You won it though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, I, I was killing these raptors and I was like, okay, this is looking good. And then all of a sudden I get moved and went, not looking good anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but then you camped on Lorcas and you got the W. Yeah, exactly. So that's all that oh. matters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This might be the moment for parting though. I see big red splodges on the minimap here. And he's oh, coming in from oh. both sides here. There is a flank. Blink stalkers jump in. The charge lots rip apart everything. Parting is just smashing cure. And GG parting. 2-1 up in a four-game series. So I, yeah, I mean, that just worked out really well for Parting in the beginning, right? Yeah, the yeah. double of the Stalker follow-up, that Stalker getting multiple SVs, getting the cancel on that command center as well. And, well, we ask ourselves, what happens when Parting doesn't fall behind in a, in a game? And perhaps even if he gets ahead after the early game, well, we just saw it. That wasn't even yeah. remotely close. It's not even funny. I think Parting should lose 10 probes every game to win. <laughs> Just to even it out a little yeah. bit, you know? <laughs> but how many times can you really bust out a build like this, though? Yeah, no, many, I think. I, I mean, it's look parting, at me, Ben. No, no, I'm not looking at you, Kev, or I am. But, like, uh, no, I mean, Parting, he's been doing it all tournament. Like, we saw him bust out that weird thing against Showtime earlier on. And then the weird transitions as well from game to game. Yeah. Like, he is one of the craziest Protoss out there. This has been one hell of a series. We've got Juanito joining on stage, talking a little bit with Cure. I have the feeling they don't have a lot of nice things to say about Protoss right now, but... Yeah. He's like, ah, I know how to play versus Snowforge Toss players to cure. Just do this and this. What is up with the trend of Protoss players not getting any upgrades, by the way? Like, I know that he got two Forges in this game, but that was at that point... I it was like just a style. Completely. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it was <laughs> over. <laughs> at that point, he made so many stalkers, he's been so aggressive. Like, Dennis is a show-off, but <laughs> it's really been a trend, though, Ben. Like, what do you make out of it? I mean, the first time that I really saw it was when we were casting uh, Katowice, when we saw Hero against Alive in that <laughs> crazy <laughs> game, you know. But ever since then, every time I see it, I'm like, man, this ain't going to work. But it works quite a lot. I feel that Protosses just want to uh, maybe get some cheeky damage done, like economically or something, or catch the Terran off guard with something a bit crazy, a bit unorthodox. And so far, it's kind of working out, surprisingly. Like, the armies do obviously become a little bit bigger, right? Like, if you don't spend money on building a forge, you don't spend money on getting those upgrades, it gives you a few more gateway units, but it shouldn't be that yeah, much. In theory, it doesn't make much sense, does it? No. Like but then suddenly, the army show, you're like, whoa, you got a lot of units. Like, <laughs> all right, guys, here we go for potentially the last game of the day. But I wouldn't mind if we get one more. In the right bottom side, we look at the main base. 
of the Terran play. He's down one tool. So if you like, if you guys out there would like to see one more game of StarCraft 2, you better give it up for this man. This is Cure. And man, this guy, he's put on a heck of a show today. He's basically a magician at this point. Spawning over in the top left, our red Protoss. It is parting. This is a good map for Terran, isn't it? Aha! Uh -huh. People might disagree with you, right? <laughs> really? Oh I my god, most Terrans pick this map first. You are sorry? Hmm? What did you say, sorry? I, I see most Terrans pick this map first in TVP. Honestly, I see a lot of Protoss pick it as well. Like it's really? one of the. I, th I think obviously it's really good for a Doom drop into the main of yeah. the Protoss, which makes them kind of yeah. susceptible. But it's also equally as good for having like a proxy Stargate above the base and stuff. Like I don't think Protoss feel too bad about defending three bases either on this map. Like I think it's just one of those maps that both races feel pretty comfortable against the other guys. So th there's a lot of discussion about it. You know, drops are probably good on this map, but so is uh, War Prism and maybe Phoenixes as well. Exactly. I think you make a very good point there. There is something about this map which does make it good for Terran because, you know, if Protoss goes up to three bases and they take, like in this case, if you're parting, you take your uh, third base at 12 o'clock, you're pretty spread out. And the south side of your main base becomes quite exposed. On the other end, traditionally, whether you play Phoenix or Blink Stalkers, yeah. you want the maps to be big right so you don't die against the first marine tank push and stuff like that the bigger the map the nicer it is for protoss in general because we can be greedy with chrono boost we can get the double forge going but it has a little bit of a two-way dance like there are things you have to worry about but at the same time there's a lot of things that work in your favor as well as protoss i think one of the nice things for protoss in general on this map and this isn't a huge thing it's about oh. When, when Protoss take the third base, which would be like the 12 o'clock position, yeah. trying to wrap around with your army, it's very hard to flank against a Protoss unless yeah. you kill the rocks. But yeah, yeah. a Protoss isn't going to let you do that. So I think early on, like these little chokes, force fields can keep you alive for a long time. And you never want, really want to fight at the bottom here in this position. Yeah, Liberators are very good on this map, though. Yeah, but the choke points, yeah. Late, later on in the map. But like, that's what I mean. It's, it's nice when you have a map that's good for the races at different points in time. Oh, there's a proxy. Oh, proxy starport here. It's going to be a Hellions. Oh, good old Hellion drop or Hellions in the natural you know, liberator. This is the Juanito move, I believe. Maybe even Banshees. So sometimes it's Banshees. You think so? I'm not a fan of it, the Banshee, but I am a fan of Hellions natural. Oh! oh this, this is going to turn out wildly. They're both whipping out here. This is, a, this is truly a marathon between these guys. It's a marathon. Of crazy, yeah. I feel like it's a free for all, man. <laughs> like they're just both throwing <laughs> stuff at each other. I don't know what this it is. This is about. like the boxing match when they're both Man like just back. punching each other in the face. I like this. This is going to be very messy, guys, because if you open up the way that parting opens up over here, you're going to have very few units to work with. And I, 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 I speak from experience when I say it's like, you know, if I do a build like this, it's like, as long as I don't go up against a proxy starport yeah, heli yeah. and opening it's so good <laughs> and then it's like surprise for <laughs> heli and show up you're like oh no <laughs> this gets very dicey that okay that, that dark shrine's fairly close to finishing does he okay he has a war prism pretty close all right let's well. do the guessing game real quick how many pros are gonna go down 12. yeah 10. wow you guys are so funny like 17 mate probably 17? yes how yes. many stalkers does he have one yes 20. <laughs> you can do that. Come on. <laughs> I'm changing my mind. It's going to be 17. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh, oh, 18 already. <laughs> I was pretty good at this, though. Okay. I uh, love how you guys are like 10. I was like, he's got one <laughs> unit. Dude. Like, dude, I had no idea he was going to surround one Hellion so the other three could shoot everything. <laughs> okay, okay. You can't guys. predict things like that. Farting is going to win the game. That is possible as well, because DDs don't mess around. Dark Templars do show up in the main base. Two probes. All right, Kev, how many SCVs are going to die to this? I know. Uh, I think uh, 15. 15? Yeah, we're going to take a look guess. at Parting. He's very happy. It's oh, he lost one. I think six. No, no. no I mean, oh, it's a double scan. He's got oh. double scan. Oh, and he gets the Dark Templar as well. That's so sick. 23 probes, by the way, in total. Parting only has 18 workers, guys. I can't believe that. No, in the I spirit of part. Maynard, who's not here, but who would have loved to be here, that's nothing! That's nothing! <laughs> <laughs> well done. Do, do you think that Cure saved the scans because he saw only one unit? Yeah, I think he's a genius. Yeah. Oh! oh game 5, go. baby! 
<laughs> game guys. six in a five game series, by the way. Sorry. It's so crazy, so crazy for <laughs> these guys. Insane. I'm so glad that I joined this game. You know, this is just the kind of entertainment you always hope for, right? As, and when you watch StarCraft, whether you're observing or casting or just tuning in over here or on the internet, it's like this is the kind of stuff you hope for. Wild games, you have no idea what's happening, you don't know what's gonna win. It's gonna get messy, it's gonna get sloppy, but it's entertaining above everything. Yeah. And this series is just fantastic. All we can do is be so happy that we get to watch this live and talk about it. Because everybody at home is probably thinking, what the hell is going on in this series? And if you're at home right now, you're staying up late, or you're in America, and you get to enjoy the last game of today, mate, this is such a pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Hartosis is sitting behind me and he's shouting things. You know what? I'm just going to say it. He's like, this is fucking crazy. <laughs> and I was like, you know what, Dan? You're right. It is fucking crazy. There's no other way to put it. I, yeah. I, I don't know what else to say anymore. Yeah. Like, I'm, these guys, they've really put on a show for us. Like, I'm so happy to be here sat watching it. Yeah. This series is so fun. Guys. Also, game of the tournament. Do you think that that Ephemeron game could potentially be a... A draw? I mean, come on. I mean, we obviously, you have to wait until what happens tomorrow. It's got to right? be in the running. Yeah. It's got to be in the running. So I mean, far. there's always so a good. chance that Raynor built a lot of Zerklings against us. <laughs> 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 come on. <laughs> For the people who uh, missed this conversation earlier this weekend, when we announced that there was going to be a bounty for the best game of the tournament. And I know we're taking a look at parting now, and that's awesome, but can we take a look at us real quick? You know, production, we haven't seen enough of us yet. <laughs> this is Cure, that's parting, and these nerds are awesome, they're the real stars. But for me to tell this story, the camera needs to be on us. Doesn't that look like it. I don't think they're listening at all. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, you know what? I only signed up for five games, this is game six. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, shut up. Adios. <laughs> anyway, at one point we're telling Rain, and he's like, wow, that's so cool. And we're like, yeah, this is super awesome by Hawk. What a great, uh, what a great gesture overall. And, you know, we have a little bit of a back and forth, and Rainer look, looks at us, he's like, guys, 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 what if? And we're like, yeah. He's like, I make mass zerklings against mana. <laughs> and we look at each other, and we're like, what? He's like, yeah, mass zerklings. And we're like, Rainer, that's the dumbest <laughs> thing I've ever heard in my life. How on earth are you going to win? It's because you didn't hear the first suggestion. <laughs> what was that, mass roaches? No, Link Lurk. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's pretty cool, to be honest. Stealing Risky's build yeah. with the game yeah, of the man. tournament. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, guys, here we go with the last game of today. It's been such an awesome day of Home Surrey Cup. In the left top side of Winter's Gate, we're looking at the main base of our Korean Terran player. Guys, make some noise for Cure. And holding down the fort for all you crazy protesters out there, bringing us to the sixth game of five game series. It is the legend, it is parting. Now, this isn't a fairly early pro, but this isn't too crazy. It gets here, it wants to harass the SV a little bit, just make the uh, Terran life awkward. Eventually wants to block the CC a little bit, and just make sure that the Terran isn't up to no good with anything like a proxy barracks. Yeah, uh, this is pretty standard. Is it? Is it core first again? Yes. Yeah, core before Nexus. Yeah. On Winter's Gate, I'm personally not the biggest fan of it. Like, it's kind of funny how these maps work, right? Because it feels like a big map, but then you chrono boost units and they run to the other side of the map. They show up somewhat fast. There's obviously no ramp in the natural, but you do have to worry about those silly inhibitor zones. Or, as Artosis has claimed it, the bubblers, because Aceless <laughs> calls it a bubbler. Yeah, the, the, the thing about Core First is that the uh, first unit comes up faster, but mm. the whole production is slowed down by quite a bit. So the yep. target's going to be, if it's a target or any other tech, it's going to be way slower, but the first unit is going to be a quite a bit annoying, even be even because this map is quite short. Oh, mm, I like that. Where is that Reaper? Is that Reaper going really far out of position? I would have loved if he revealed it like four or five seconds yeah, later, yeah. right? Uh, even ten, yeah, like that guy, Makes you hope it gets you across awkward. the map kind of thing, because right now it didn't achieve what it wanted to at all. Oh, nope, that's a little, just a little bit too soon. Although it was just about the damage that you yeah, get done exactly. on the SV. Yeah, exactly, I was thinking about it. So the adept can one-shot the SV most likely. Yeah, maybe it's been timed out beautifully by him, but maybe it's a mistake like we thought it was. <laughs> I, I think he he was thinking that the Reaper was across the map already. But I Yeah, like if he would have rallied it across the map, the Reaper would have been way further, right? But obviously a couple of seconds would have helped out quite a bit. Uh, the Reaper is still going to the other side of the map. Oh, let's take a look at that adapt, Mapu. Can we take a look at that first adapt? It's got oh. Oh, 
So it has sorted out that CC. Yeah. So it actually worked out for parting. Like, we should never doubt parting, by the way. He Not after never this killed. Series. Cured has abandoned it. Oh, he just abandoned it? What a wow. That's why it was so... Oh, my God. These guys actually play some really good soccer off the right. Yeah. Like, without no seeing, thanks. he just knew that the adapt was coming to the other side of the map. And he's like, I can be stubborn and, and try to finish up this command center, but it's never going to work until the two Marines and the Hellion are out. So he actually just put the SV to the high ground. That's actually a really sweet Yeah, move. he probably did. Uh, like he was thinking, because the uh, the probe slowed down the CC by quite yeah. a bit by patrolling, and plus he he attacked the SV for quite a bit, so he probably did two plus two, and if he guessed the adapter was going on, on the way, so yeah, it was pretty sick guess. Watching Starcraft players go like this, it is really like a dance, man. Like it, it's beautiful. He even keeps that adept alive as well, Ooh. not for too long, but gets the SV yeah. with his dying breath. Like both these guys, they know everything is on the line at this point. And it is. They're in the loser bracket right now. The lower bracket, man. Lower bracket. There are no bad. losers. There's, there's no losers. losers. We're all winners over <laughs> here. All right. You know, in the old days, Dennis used to all give us medals. And then Todd used to always tease me about it. He's like, so uh, after all these years, you finally get a medal. And I'm like, oh, my God, Todd. Shut up. <laughs> He's like, that will not be in the eSports earnings. I was like, I know, Johan. I know. I got a couple too. Yeah, <laughs> they're classics, man. And my mom's always like, wow, did you win? I was like, no, mom, I participated. But it was also all right. <laughs> okay, these two holds. Uh, oh, they slip oh. by those stalkers. This could. Oh, and the medevac comes man. into the main too. Is that 10 probes? I feel like we've seen this before, guys. <laughs> ah, it's good. I like the fact that he focused down the Hellions first, but he picks up a Hellion, flies him down here. There's a shield battery in that natural, though, and that could help a little bit, but the Marines are still on the high ground. Parting is falling apart here a little bit, guys, in defending against this. That, that's nothing for Parting. <laughs> yeah, falls oh. pretty good, but... Oh, the blink is done. Will he get it? Oh, I can't Shot at his own stalker, right? Yeah, I can't believe he didn't get the, the medivac. Oh, that's Shot so it. sweet, by the way, leaving one Marine behind. <laughs> I love that, because that can go completely ignored and suddenly get like seven workers. Well, in your games, Kevin, maybe not on Absolutely. this one. <laughs> on a time like this, hell yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Third CC starts, by the way, and a Robo Bay. They are both going about this game so differently than any of the others. Man, like, I know that we have the bounty for game of the tournament, and that's still very open, but series of the tournament, oh, yeah. these two nerds are delivering, all right? This is the series of the tournament so far. Why do you get a draw? Come on. <laughs> ah, they've both played so magnificently. I, I, I can't say it enough. Like, they've really put on a show for his parting. Now goes for a third. It's slightly later than what Protoss would normally get, but it's because he's going for that Colossus attack. And Cure, he's playing one of those more macro... These are like are happy two observers? observers. Yeah, they're just hugging over here, you know, chilling out. Oh, yeah, double division. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's how it really <laughs> works, right now, but I like it. There's no forges, by the way. I think that's the play, guys. Uh, oh, one is go. coming out. The caster curse. Reyna, you gotta be careful, man. Oh, yeah. We need many, many more years of your fantastic Zerk play, all right? Like, <laughs> you can't really become a caster fool on yet. Like. <laughs> All right, so if you're the Protoss, Kevin, here in this situation, what's the next kind of step that you kind of aim for? Well, everything I'm going to say, parting is probably going to do the opposite, <laughs> but I'm going to say, like, you should always defend at this point. Like, you obviously want to control the map a little bit with stalkers. You want to make sure you know what's happening. He mo opened up with multiple observers, and all the ops, that's a massive tell. You don't build observers if you want to all in, because then you don't care what else is out there. You build a couple Ooh, of observers. Oh, he's crazy. Ah, go on. Yeah, he's been crazy all series long. But the ops are a massive tell that he wants to get vision and he wants to control the pace of this game and he wants to build up the strong army because he knows, you know, all the things we've said about potting being crazy, Cure is pretty crazy as well, right? Yeah, yeah. He's like, I'm up at base, I'm up in works, I'm up in upgrades. I'm just going to attack right now because what's the worst thing that could happen? And then suddenly we get these weird scenarios. So I think potting is actually positioning himself into a rather defensive spot. He could is. also be a massive plus one attack because he is getting five more gateways. Yeah, like I said, three observers into an attack. Why not? I, I am. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can't. And it's still yeah, over division, there. Guys. If that was me, man, I wouldn't do that. I have two way too much. You know, my observers would be going uh, elsewhere. But Cure, he's got 1-1 one, one on the way. He's got more workers. He's got more supply. He's looking real fresh this game. You know, Rainer, the best thing about watching the Muslim stream is that in the first four minutes, you know, he's a real proper StarCraft player. He's got everything on his nice little hotkeys. Yeah. He's got his Marine. He's got his Medivac. He's got his Hellions. But as soon as we're nine minutes in, you look above the minimap, and that's the only key that's blinking up. It's F2, 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 <laughs> F2, 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 F2. <laughs> it's like, you know what, man? You're still getting a lot of work done with it. 
<laughs> I certainly am, Kev. I'm going <laughs> to snipe you with Protoss one of these days. <laughs> you know, <laughs> shut you up. All right, so Parting is trying to like slow down a push, slash get some damage done. He's doing a good job with these stalkers. Like, I he's like trading those a fisherman. Season five stalkers are really big by your army. It's really sick. Parting is a little bit behind in workers, right? And that's still somewhat surprising because he didn't lose that many probes early on. So he's that's been doing a little bit of everything, but he's kind of been gearing up for this attack. He is going to be behind an upgrade because 1 1 is already done for the Terran. Only now, plus 1 is going to finish up for the Protoss. But guys, here we go. Parring is going to go a little crazy. Those Zealots are following the wrong unit. Like, warp, Ooh, wait, warp, warp is speed. speed? This? Oh, yes. This is wild. I want to see that two prisms flying into the main with warp prisms. Yeah, speed. like a That's proper invasion. Oh, yeah. I can get behind that. Fourth CC stars as well. Like, Cure's totally happy to just slow down this game and play so kind of defensive. You know, Parring does so many things so incredibly well. And his micro and his moves are awesome. But he is really kind of dropping the ball when it comes to producing workers, right? Because there is no reason yeah, yeah, yeah. for a Protoss to be eight workers behind at this point. Oh, he does find an opening with the War Prism, though. Uh, and I, I like this drop-off as well, just being... Okay, that, I thought it was going to kill the turrets. That's a good F2, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, yeah. I don't <laughs> think that reactor was really the priority all along. You know so. what? I'm not going to kill the turret. I'm going for all the things in this base, <laughs> SCVs, like turrets. No, I'm going to go for that add-on right there. You think he can actually push in here? Uh, I feel it's a little too late, man. I think he can retreat, which is the big thing. Like with Zealots, the fact that they're faster now, I like you can disengage a lot better. Look at this prism. It's so, so funny. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Flying! Like new observer, boys. Scout the base and get out. That's the play, I think. Ah, now he's making pros, though, four at a time. Double forge. But I feel like if he wasn't 40 supply behind, it would have been much better a few minutes ago, you know? I think most people would agree with you on that one, Ben. But he is going to try to catch up with the upgrades. Do we have Storm? No, right? I think we do. Oh, we do have Storm. How many had Templars do we have out on the map? Six. All right. That's, that's, that's a lot of okay. uh, Templars. Something we can work with. You yeah. can do it. Yeah, a lot of work. And a Speed that. Prism, by the way. So that has Ooh. a lot more potential right now. Does he have any Ghost out? No. Nope. No, this is, this is a very oh. bog standard. Very army. heavy Marine as well. 33 Marines, guys. 2-2 two, two hasn't finished yet either. as well. This is close, and upgrades are going to get him. Parting, he's going to go for it. He's running into those liberation zones. Speed Prism, oh, oh my goodness, the storms are sick. The interference matrix is really sick as well. A lot of the zealots do disappear. I mean, that was a fantastic start from the battle, but that matrix was key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. the main thing, yeah, you called it, Kev, like those two high Templars that couldn't storm in that warp prism, they could have changed the tide of that fight. But Parting is going in for round two here by the looks of it. He ain't done yet. He's going to come forward with the prism one more time. That planetary fortress is not just done yet. The storms are big, but quite a few bio units do survive, though. There's a couple of liberators that are seats up on the top side. They're not helping out. That prism is carrying some very precious cargo at this point. But guys, I think the game will just go on from this point. Oh, yeah. Oh, but will it? Like Parting, he's making a lot of stalkers, right? His army composition is so weird, right? I don't really know what's going to happen from this point on. The War Prism, it's still got a few high tempos in. One was sniped by Cure. 151 supply against 130. Oh, yeah. This, uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen in this game, to be honest. I'm, I'm not sure any... Oh, what? A couple of SCVs are showing up. They're repairing the lip, so that's actually not a bad play, right? Like, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, we have a fusion core, but I don't think... Advanced oh! Storm drops as well. All right, this game is absolutely sick. We have a fusion core, but there are no advanced ballistics yet, as Mapu is showing us as well. You know, I feel like Parting makes this game so hard for himself. He keeps he keeps attacking into like chokes and stuff. Mm -hmm. I think if he would chill a bit, maybe some. Oh, he has 80 probes now, but that's that's decent. But if he makes probe faster, let's say he chills yeah, a bit. Yeah. Ten it's high Templars at once, by the way. Five Archons more than Storm right off. outside this base. Oh, okay. Maybe that's the number of Archons you want to maybe attack this planetary fortress. It seems like Parting really doesn't like four base Terrans. He's like, two, uh, three, I prefer to avoid that four. Absolutely Ooh, no way. Oh, he's running in. Uh, this, is this is a lot of firepower from both sides, but Parting, his army is dwindling. The Archons are kind of stacking up on each other, and he can't retreat with this. There is so much bio. Cure is hunting down Parting in this game. 190 supply to 110. Uh, he's going to pick up these Colossi a couple of times. He does have a speed prism. Can he save the other Colossus? Drop it. Oh, no, he cannot. Cure, he's in the bubbler, though. He's moving real slow. 
Yeah, uh, I'm, not sure, I'm not sure about attacking today. No, you just said it, Rainer. Rainer, you literally said it right before it happened. Yeah. I'm not sure what Potting is doing. Why would he attack here? Why is he so eager to attack? Well, I think you proved your point, matey. Like, that just did not work out. The Liberators were set up. There is a Disruptor that's going to try to get a shot up, but that won't finish up. Potting is in trouble, guys. Cure is looking very, very good here. Potentially closing out this absolutely insane series. Just one Colossus survives. But one Colossi and a couple of Stalkers, I mean, that should not be able to save the day. No, he's doubling his supply at this point. He comes over, he's like, oh my gosh, you're making a fifth base as well. Okay, I'll deny it for as long as I can. But no, this is so many Liberators warping in under them with the Stalkers and doing what he can. But there's also a lot of support from the Marauders. Cure, I think he has this one. And Parting, the riding is on the wall. You know what, guys? I feel like Parting was doing so many right moves, but... You know, let's say he goes into Tempest from this. I feel like he's in a good spot. He has 80 probes, all the right upgrades. Or just attack the third base instead of the yeah, fourth, yeah. but there's no planetary like fortress. I think that's already yeah, big. you don't even need to tech up. You just don't rush yeah. into a ramp like that. It was yeah. like he was driving a car and his gear got stuck and he stayed yeah. in it. Yeah. I mean, it's been one hell of a series, though. you got to give him all the kudos oh, yeah. for that one. It's been super entertaining. We've had six games in his last best of five of the day. But it seems like Cure has had enough. He's gonna stim forward one more time. And all of these Marines and Marauders, they will not be stopped. One or two Colossi is simply not going to be enough here. You want some freedom, Ben? Mate, I've got it right now. Cure landing freedom all over Parting. Parting still trying to micro his little heart out here. Colossuses are falling though. So much Cure just invading the space of Parting. Uh, and GG, Cure. Finally takes it.